Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and here in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with using Microsoft Word 2016. Now this is intended for people who have little to no experience with Word uh, so that you know it's easy for you to get started. Once you start and launch the Word software program, what you see here is typically the first thing that you will see in Word. And what this is, is is an opportunity that Word gives you to choose what kind of template to use to start your document. Now, most of the time, people don't want to use any of these templates right off the bat. So uh, I would say the majority of the time, you're going to just choose a blank document. So you would click right here on this blank document icon. And Word opens up on a new blank page. Now that's fine, but let me show you a little trick. Some people would prefer that when they launch Word, instead of going to that selection page that we just saw, it just automatically opens a blank new page. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that starting page. Here's what you do. You go to the File tab here in the upper left corner and you click that and it brings you here into what's called the backstage view. Then in the blue section on the far left side go to the very bottom of that list of menus and click options. When the options window appears what you need to do is scroll all the way down so that you can see the bottom portion of this first options uh, page. And what you want to do is look right down here where it says Startup Options. Choose the extensions you want Word to open by default and so on. What you want to do is remove the check mark right here where it says Show the Start Screen when this application starts. Because Word is meant, the way they manufacture Word, it is automatically selected as a default. So to avoid seeing that page, you would click to remove that check mark. Then click OK in the lower right corner. And the next time you launch Word, it will open up to this blank screen you see right here, this blank page, so that it skips over that start screen where you uh, have all those templates to look at. So this is what Word 2016 looks like. Those of you who have used Word 20, uh, 13, you'll notice that it's very similar. There are very, very few, very few changes that you can see in this uh, version. One of the changes is that the help menu is located right here where there's a light bulb. Tell me what you want to do. You can click in there and just start typing to look for things such as, um, oh, I don't know, table of contents. So if you want to learn how to do a table of contents, it automatically looks up articles in the help menus that have to do with that. So that's a really handy improvement I think that they made. In the upper left, far upper left corner, this bar right here going across is called the Quick Action or Quick Access Toolbar. This has typical common tools on it that most people use, such as the Save tool to save your work, the Save As tool to save your work under a different name, the uh, touch mouse mode, how you want to use that if you have a touch screen or mouse uh, pad, uh, touch pad on your laptop. This one means uh, open an existing file and this is how um, to open a new blank document file. Below that are what we call the tabs. The tabs, each tab, when you click on it, it brings forth different commands and menus on the ribbon that has to do with that tab name. So, for example, this tab is called Insert, and when I clicked it, these are now things that you can insert into your document. Things like pictures, tables, charts, and so on. There are lots of tabs that can do lots of different things. The Design tab, for example, has lots of design templates and colors you can choose from. This is also where you would go to put in a watermark on your page, change the page color and themes, and so on. 
So your tab row here has lots of different things going on and as we get into the class further in the semester you're going to cover we're going to cover all of those tabs and look at use all the tools that are on them or most of the tools. The view that we're looking at right now is called print layout. If you look down here in the lower right corner area these are the icons you can click to change the way your page is viewed on your screen. This way here is called read mode. If you click that the document is a lot simpler and it's really just meant for reading. Back to the mode that we were in before, it's called print layout. That's the one I use the most. Uh, print layout shows you the page with its border lines so that you can see what it will look like when it actually prints out of the printer, if you were going to print a hard copy. There are other choices like web layout and here is also the zooming tool. If you zoom in, you click to make it bigger, you click the plus sign here or click the minus sign to zoom back out again. Now I'm only showing you the basic rundown of how things work here. There's way more than what I'm telling you, but um, these are just some basics to get you started. Another thing you might want to do is click the view tab over here and then make sure that this ruler choice does have a check mark in it. The default setting for Word is usually to have that ch checked, which is good. Uh, notice that it does have a check mark here, and the ruler, which is how you determine your measurements on a page, uh, is, is located here. This is the horizontal ruler along the top margin, and over here on the left side is a vertical ruler for the left side margin. You can set margins on these rulers and do lots of other things as well. But this is typical for 8.5 by 11 size paper. Also from the View tab, another one to be aware of is grid lines. If you click into the grid lines check mark, you can see these grid lines to help you really be very precise when you're aligning things. Now the grid lines do not print out. They're just there to guide you when you're designing things and inserting things. I'm going to remove the guidelines, the grid lines rather. So there's lots of different things you can do on these tabs. One thing you really need to be aware of is the file tab. When you click file, it brings you back to the backstage view and from here you can do different things. You can save, save as, print, share your work with others online, or click back into the options to reconfigure how Word is displayed and how it works for you. And we're going to go over this and have this as part of a lesson later on in the semester. So I'm going to cancel this screen and get back to the main page. When you're ready to get out of Word, there's two ways to do it. One way is to click File and then click Close right here. What that does is it closes the current document you're looking at it does not close the program of Word. It just would close out this one page. So if you want to close Word completely, you can click this X button in the upper right corner and that would then close Word. It might ask you if you want to save anything, but if you didn't, that's okay. So I'm going to launch Word once again and you'll notice it opens right to the blank page instead of opening to the start screen. Now this is just, an, like I said, it's just an introduction. If you want to um, explore Word somewhat before our class even begins, feel free to do that. I'm a big uh, promoter of just playing with the software to get to know it. And uh, as we get on into this semester, we'll learn much more about Word.